Hi there, this is Douglas Robinson, and in this video we're going to be reviewing how you can recover a lost or locked CSD admin password in your ShareWell environment. The use case for this is that you've been signing in with an administrator account such as CSD admin, you've lost the password to it, and you can no longer sign in to the administrator tool, you're on-prem, you don't have another account that anyone can sign into, you need to manually force open that CSD admin account. Now to do this you're going to need access to your SQL server and you're going to need to manually update the trebuchet auth record for the CSD admin account or the administrator account that's going to be reset. And to do that we're actually going to explore what that script's going to look like today. So right now just uh, some pretext or some context around what we're going to be working on we need to look at the trebuchet auth table so I've got that open um, I'm actually looking at it in toad for SQL server today I keep hearing people talk about how awesome toad is so I've decided to try it out for a little while um, so we have right now a list of everything that's inside of our trebuchet auth table so we'll take a look at some of these columns there's a rec ID which is very standard created in the last mod date values uh, and then there's a standard identifier and a standard hash and these two are listed here before windows identifier and external identifiers and other stuff the significance of the standard identifier and standard hash are that these are your username and hashed passwords for your user accounts so csd admin for example has a standard identifier of CSD admin and then a hash and this is actually the hash of what his password is by default which is CSD admin so in this case all you really need to do to reset this password hang on I'm gonna leave this as a select real quick is we're gonna add a where clause that identifies that user account which is CSD admin All right, I'm just going to say, very first impression with Toad is that when I went to type in data, it actually gave me, like, intelligent autocorrector. What is it, IntelliSense, I guess, with the actual data values in the table. That was pretty cool. So we're standard identifier equals, see that, CSD admin? I actually, I really like that feature right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna use toad a little bit more anyway so this should give us just the CSD admin record here and there it is right there so what we're gonna do here is instead of selecting this data we're going to update trebuchet auth and we need to add a set standard hash equals that's the hash this right here is your script to reset the password for CSD admin to CSD admin. That hash is there out of the box. That's the hash for CSD admin. Um, I don't have a way to test that theory for you aside from changing the CSD admin password and then, you know, manually trying to update it and sign in again. So we're going to find CSD admin in here. I'm going to change this password to password one it's a great secure password right there so now it's password one so if I try signing in as CSD admin it's just not gonna work now what we need to do then is we run this script and it sets his standard hash to CSD admin so we can test this out let me make sure I've got the right version open here yeah, this is version 9.1.1. .1. That's the system that I just worked on. So we're gonna we're gonna try signing in now. And just as a separate note, now if I try selecting from Trebuchet auth where standard identifier equals CSD admin. We run that bit. So pressing F8 didn't actually run this, which is odd. 
Oh, it's F9 on Toad. Did I type out trebuchet? Oh, I didn't. I didn't write the word from. That's very ignorant of me. Anyways, so if we look at the standard hash now, we can tell it's a little bit different. So the ending value here is D81. The ending value here is AEF. So it's a it's a different hash. The password has been changed, and if I open this up and I try to sign into my Sharewell 901 connection, which has been upgraded to version 9.1.1 because of a certain encode text modifier that I needed. That's not on 901. We try typing in CSD admin and CSD admin. We can't sign in. If we try typing in CSD admin and password 1, we can sign in. That's the password right now. So if I want to manually update this, we're going to assume that I'm locked out of my system. I want to manually update this so that I can sign in as CSD admin again, because that password's not working. We have to run this guy right here to reset that hash to this value. We're going to do that right now. Okay, so here we have one row is affected. Great. So now we try signing in as CSD admin, it magically works. So we don't get any error message saying our password's wrong. It just pops up just fine. And that's exactly what we were expecting. So really, that's our that's our video for today. If you run into this issue and you're locked out of your Sharewell system, A, you shouldn't be locked out of your Sharewell system. You should always have one other administrator account aside from CSD admin. You should know what your CSD admin password is in case you lock yourself out because it is possible to do that if you start tinkering around in the system. Um, so you should always have that documented somewhere, but not, you know, too publicly accessible so that people can find it. But you as the Sherwell admin should know what your CSD admin password is. You should be able to get into that account if you need to. Um, but if you lock that account out, this is how you'd be able to get back into it. Um, we will be posting this SQL code right here into our video description so you can get to that if you need to very quickly. It's in Sherwell's knowledge base as well. Um, you know they've you know they've been handling a couple of calls from people who have actually had to you know reset their CSD admin password. So this is not a new thing by any means. This is just a, a good reference for you. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to see other videos like this one feel free to subscribe and you can leave comments in the comments section below and if you'd like to ask us to build a map or to do some other video you can leave a comment, you can email me at doug at you can reach out through our website, you have many 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 options.